Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh we're gonna continue with Final Fantasy 16 today. Um Yeah, we were last left with a pretty big segment it seemed. We'll see how far we get through. And yeah. and thank you. Okay. All right, Toggle. Let's find those survivors. All right, Clive. They don't stand a chance against those things. Fuck. Clive, go faster. They're only level 20!
Um, I was gonna ask how you like it, but it seems like you're hooked. Yes and no. This game is definitely good. Great combat and whatnot, but it's like some enemies are just not really designed well so far. Um, it's not that they're not designed well, but definitely there's not a lot of hard enemies to deal with, not a lot of hard situations to deal with. Um, I got Bahumit, but I have like two more spirits to go. Um, I think I'm at like the 44 hour mark if I had to take a guess. But yeah, the game's good, but definitely like the consistency of it is kind of like slow for some things that could just go faster. Yeah, yeah, 65 hour game, a lot of side quests, a lot of traveling, a lot of like before doing the main story, you have to do like help townsfolk real quick and that's fine, but it just slows down gameplay quite a bit. There's a lot of enemies I do like inside this game, but there's a lot of enemies I just don't like about this game either. I've kind of figured out my method though. I'm debating on doing Final Fantasy mode. That's like one of the reasons why I really want to beat the game. But the game's got a good story so far, good combat, good world, and yeah, not just overall, it is a good game. But I have my fair share of gripes. I like playing things hard immediately, and this game doesn't allow me to play hard mode immediately. Look at surrounded. I'll use this one. Uh, yeah. I will say, kind of sucks that I can't play it on PC immediately because the frame drops are definitely hella noticeable. And at the same time, I'm not replaying this game on PC. Not unless Final Fantasy mode, like, impresses me a ton. The aspect of like upping the difficulty a hell of a lot though, and like ma me making the player actually need all the like skills to get through the game is kind of a neat concept. 
but Devil May Cry kind of allowed you to actually replay the game with all that stuff and allowed you to up the difficulty as well immediately. And that was already naturally a hard game. That sounded big. Joshua and Jill must be busy. All I can gather. hear is Dante, yeah. The combat director for this game is the same as the one as DMC series, right? As far as I have heard, yes. That's why it's like for stuff like this, you got like Stinger. Um, what is it? Helm Splitter. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. what else was there? What else was there? Um, you basically got Nero's grapple, but it's like one that pulls enemies close or heavy enemies. I actually like do attacks going upward. Um, what other attacks are there currently that is very Dante like? Um, you have Heat Wave, which is like on Dante's like um, what's it called? Charge slash attack. Um, the the beam one that he used to uh, do. I can't remember at the moment. Um, aerial rave, maybe. Magic. Magic is essentially guns. Charge magic is actually kind of sick. Stomp. You got like the stomp on enemies tech. Uh, uh, aerial recovery, like legitimately. Like that's most action games though. Uh, you got a taunt. You got like this 
upward swing. So instead of Clive actually getting like a charge attack that like swings upward, it actually swings down. However, if you do this, this is your basically like a launcher. So you're able to keep opponents up in the air for quite a while. Wanna go in? Invisible walls? <laughs> Fine. Ah, lordy. Oh, you got devil trigger. Um, there's that. What else do you got? What else do you got? Yeah, I know. But the thing is, it's like, to be fair, Devil May Cry had them too. Still an amazing game. Where are they? Like it's a like it's set corridors for certain things. These creatures. Does Ultima's reach extend this far? What the hell is going on here? The thing is, Bahum is cool, but I think the skills are actually a lot better than, like, the Icon ability for Bahumit. But I actually think, like, the Bahumit abil uh, Icon ability is actually way too good as well, too. Against things like bosses and, like, a ton of enemies that attack all the time. Oh! Let me charge. Let me cook. There we go. I'm a cook! Where is your master? What, what does he want? You've caused quite the commotion. But then I would expect no less from you, Muthos. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess, I have been very much looking forward to this. Kind of curious how I'm going to fight him. This 1v1? Indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. The ultimate dragoon? Ultimate dragoon? I am the of House Harvard. And you will yield. Huh. Or not. As long as you don't hold back. Hit me. Oh. 
Forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Uh, perhaps this will kindle your flame? Please. Now, a gift from my liege lord's army. Gungnir. Oh god, dude. Gungnir? Watch closely, Mythos. Um. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Slip near, gung near, gotcha. essentially.
mess up. GG. So, I have a big grasp on this, like, combat system. I've had a grasp on it ever since, like, probably the first real time I got access to, like, some of Clive's toolkit. And I've just been waiting for the game to get hard. Like, legitimately. I think the game is fun, but I think that the game does not really allow the player to deal with any tough situations unless you kind of create them yourself. And if, if that sounds strange, but the thing is, it's like, I shouldn't have to diminish the attack, defense, and everything that I put into the stats of my character because that's accessories and attack weapons. However, I should, uh, what's it called? Like, the game should kind of scale along with me and do bigger hits against me since I have, like, six potions and four high potions. The vessel is strong. My leash. Is he dead? Did we kill Oh. Clive. Chloe. All right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. After that last fight, was a lot of fun now, still. I feel we were all too late. And on Final Fantasy mode, I feel it's going to be a hell of a lot more fun. Nothing. I hope. <laughs> Ooh, what? Who? Odin? No, no, that bro was not Odin. This bro is Odin. Leaving so soon, Mythos. It's the king. Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, warden of Ash and king of Walud. Get back. Ah, 
Slepnir was only the appetizer. <laughs> now we got the main course. Making Clive seem like an amateur. Wild and impetuous. I expected more of the boy who bested my Lord Commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Ooh. Stop calling me Mythos. But Mythos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The Lord's vessel. Your purpose. My purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing. No, Your Majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Please don't tell me Jill's gonna get severely injured, if not possibly dead. Oi! Oi! This way! Hurry! Sith. <laughs> Imagine we got to play as Call Barnabas here. Reckoning, and they use it as a crush. Such a waste. Yeah. -oh. That's no good. That's not good at all. Will he be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we were up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. 
No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <laughs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> It is no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. <laughs> Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake, my boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father. Who taught me that? Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them. Along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't say without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. Okay. <laughs> We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Uh, well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings, if you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. <laughs> the ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. I like Gav a we'll lot. I hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Alrighty. Let us go to see who? Oh, we're going back to the hideaway. To see Ada. Okay. Right. Gav said that Otto might know something. Cole said it was an army of how are we supposed to do our duty? Oh, you got something for me? I'm sorry, Jill. I'll help oh, you in a bit. I wasn't expecting you back, so. You earned this. Talisman of timing. All done? Ah, okay. That's actually kind of neat, though. I wonder when I'm gonna get stronger stuff, stronger weapons. Not that I need it. God, if you're here, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right, but it's a long story.
You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Like father, like daughter. An A rank and a B rank. The man in black. Huh. Be kind of badass if it was an organization member. Dread Comet. The Red Chocobo? Huh. Neat. Kind of wish we had like a Chocobo like fighter, to be honest. If Amber and the Lazarus had gone. But yeah, um, some of the best fights so far have been like hunts as well. They haven't been like main story fights, funny enough. I don't think the main story fights are bad by any means. They are, they hold a certain epicness to them. But the hunts like add some quite a bit of difficulty to them. I actually, that was like the first real, real time I died in game. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. You'll already have read it. I'd better keep looking. What do we have here? Oh. Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. There's always. Oh, not two pieces, but three. Wayne. We've had no word from Canva for days. Please tell me Mid is all right. He's fine. He's fine. Oh, you didn't even see that. What the hell? I remember seeing this doll in Sid Sola. I wonder if it was Mids. Huh. What's this tucked inside it? A riddle. Metadol, I know you I know you like your riddle, so I reckon you'll appreciate this one. Of all of my in inventions, this one's the best. And so when choosing its place of rest, I recalled your opus, Daughter Dearest, and now it sleeps there in the first. I'm going to have to work on that last rhyme. Good luck. Is there a time skip in this game, Kai Show? I wonder. Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. So Sid hit something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. Cole said it was an army. How are we supposed to do our duty when the hill? Red comet. I might try to go to find, find that real quick. Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. Mm -hmm. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. 
Okay, time to go find the Opus. Okay, go to the notification point. Yay! Oh, the jukebox. Really? I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. What I broke break? it. Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break the orchestra. <sighs> What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this? Nope. Nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. Like this. Cute scamps. See? <sighs> all too well. All right, out of the way. started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Ah, oh, I Let's see. see if we can okay. Make some dreams come true. This bastard. I swear to God. <laughs> Just the two I was looking Stop for. making me feel Why things. Lose a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Oh, Unless he's alive? Unless you've stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? They gotta do work. <sighs> Ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. And if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? <laughs> Every moment I waste here, the further the flagship sails. I have to get back. Those imps are going to break that thing. All right, Karen, what do you got for me? Aye, it's Karen. a dangerous world out there. Got the rune blade. Mm. 
got the rune belt as well. Oh, come Finish on. Dying. You got better stuff than my legendary stuff. Okay, fine. So what do I owe the honor? The double whammy. I know, right? So what would it be? I have a feeling that I don't that need it. this because I'm about to get better Sorry. stuff almost immediately. He's a surly silker who cares less for than the iron he hammers. Sid, do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with Morbles. I know, I know, but hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a marble vine to a Morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. <sighs> and all you need is a single vine from an ordinary morble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the morble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. But as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. How timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do. As do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? What's this? Oh, inspect? Nah. What's this? Nah. Read? Nah. Okay. Um. Use the hunt board. So one of the greatest things about this game is that when you start a side quest, you get to look away for about a minute or so because the beginning never matters. Cole said it was an army of a cash. I try to care. I do. I really try. The ending for the side quests have actually been very good. Here, brother is a fan of Carrot Koopo. If every carrot of Rosaria is anything like the one that just got posted on the board, I can see why Koopo. Koopo! Ooh, we get to fight a carrot. A marble carrot. The Whispering Waters Rosaria. The Sickle Dalmachia. It is. Dun dun dun. Uh... I'm getting it confused. No, where they're back, baby. Were they ever gone? Was it Moogle not in fifteen? Whispering Waters. Fourteen has Moogles. Thirteen had Moogles. Fifteen, I don't remember. 
Hmm. Hmm. Very odd. Hmm. Odd. I consider 14 to be kind of like a mainline since it's still Final Fantasy 14. But I get what you mean. Whispering. There we go. Over here. Yeah, you whistle quiet. Ready, go. Faster. Faster. Marble time. How many ability points do I have now? I have a lot. I could probably do something with that. Do 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 do. Come on, do it.
Nitro, catch you later, dude. Did I die? I think I I did win. All right. Whee! That was definitely anything but ordinary. Now, Ugh. Let's get this vine back. What to a the beauty! Yard. Yeah, Kaisho, thank you for stopping by. Enjoy your stream, dude. Wait, sir, can I have another? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Cole said it was an army of a cash. All right, Clive. Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. Speaking of which, hmm. I'm actually a bit um worried about him. Again, and you want my advice? Again. And so, it's a bit of a funny one, this. But I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed. Only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought maybe. Yeah, I'll speak to him. Don't worry. I'd speak I got to him you. Again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right, I'll meet you by the forge then. You come along when you're ready. Dun, da, da, dun, 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 ba, 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 ba. Yeah, yeah, I'll go over there in a few moments. Gonna go to the infirmary first. She can't keep glory to Griga. There you are. I'm not a moment too soon. What's happened? Taya's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. I can at least try. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. Bum 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 and if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but you do need to rest. I will when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. 
The crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. Alicia. You wouldn't tire. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I... I, I will. Mm. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just of tell course. me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvent, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. That actually made a bigger impact from the beginning because Taria never gets like that. Rodrigue wanted to help, but was unable to do so. Like, not that he wasn't able to do so, but it's like just not realizing how Mr. much Sid, it's going to hurt. Have you seen His Highness the Prince? We were to dine together, or so I was going to suggest, before he vanished, that is. I suppose now I'll just have to ask the bard. I feel like she Mr. has... Sid. An entire story that I've missed. Huh. Maybe I should have talked to people a little bit more. Hey. Hey. Seed. 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 Ooh. All right. Whee. Okay. What do I have for you? Uh, Sid, I uh, can't help but notice that. Oh, that's right. The uh, more most violent manner. Okay. Yeah, it's your problem now. What an amazing specimen. The flesh positively throbs with vitality. If I can successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards, uh, when, when I successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards, I suspect the results will be immediate. I shall begin at once. Just as I hoped. Witness how the Morganbeards have taken to the blighted soil. How they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us, Sid. You've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more. But this time, with the petals from the invigorated Morganbeards. And would you believe... Its potency has nearly doubled. You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. The rest, I shall give to Taya. This file.
Please, sir. Can I have some marble? Yeah. Wait. Increasing consumable potency. So, does that mean I get higher heals? Both high potions and potions can now restore even more HP while strength stones can last even longer. Neat. Freaking mad. Hey, sir, can I have some more? 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 Hey, sir, please. I'd like a more bull. Sir? Okay, sir. Nope, wrong way. Wait, no, right way. If it's knowledge you seek. Hello. You have an issue? We're here to solve it. Bloody hell, Clive. Not this again. Oh, and you've got better things to do with your time. No, that's why I'm playing games. Seen. August tells me he showed you a ring, and that the sight of it clearly upset you. The sight of a ring? Why? Are we gonna make right. accessories now? Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. It was the ring, right? It brought back some unhappy memories, that's all. Is he divorced? Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. Sometimes, sometimes not all the time. Sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Exactly. Don't be like that. Oh, no, shut up. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring he flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've okay. never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought uh, it all back. Uh. I could tell it was one of his the yeah. moment I saw it. Bastards improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? Matters a ton. It matters because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. Uh. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. Mm. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Yeah. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Sultan. Very well. Why don't a we lot of spirit. Learn his secret. Oh, hmm. no, he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride and focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Okay. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't, and it's it will never be the Final you, Fantasy Pure next. We need also to welcome. About it. What you say, Blackford? Considering how long the you Final Fantasy right. series it's has like been going, going it's not very final, is it? Right. No, not at all. No. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's his name is then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravost, my old village. He won't have left. Hope you're doing well, truth. dude. Long time to see. I eh? think it's been. I think it's been a minute, not far anyways. From Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Carava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravos as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. Oh. Uh, and this game has been hella long, too. Okay. No quest over here. We're gonna go to Tabor. Here's of Mercy.
Uh, yeah, doing good. It's been a while. Haven't been on Twitch a whole lot. How are you enjoying this iteration of Final Fantasy so far? Um, huh, I thought I, for some reason, I thought I saw you stream the other day. I know I ha like I know I haven't been streaming too too much as of late. I just started getting back onto this about probably two weeks ago again, and I've been keeping up consistent with it. So all good here now. Uh, how are you enjoying this iteration? I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I think this game is fun. I think this game is a long kind of like cinematic game with good gameplay elements. It's definitely not very difficult for the immediate playthrough. Um, I've heard there's, and I know there's a uh, hard mode locked behind beating the game. So I'll have to do a second playthrough eventually uh, to play that because I'm very much looking forward to like difficulty getting ramped up inside of here. Uh, I did, but that was uh, one or two, one of two in the past few weeks. Ah, fair enough. Classic Final Fantasy uh, setup, cutting between cinema and games. Yeah, you're not wrong. But like when it came down to Final Fantasy 15, I felt that this game, oh, that game was a lot more gameplay and like banter between the main characters, the four characters, versus it being more cinematic, funny enough. When it got cinematic, it was pretty damn nice. But majority of the time, it felt like it was more gameplay than cinematics. That's why I respect 15 quite a bit like that, except I wanted more like difficult gameplay elements, which there was and wasn't for that uh, for that series. Anyways, uh, where? God, that's so far away. Wait, OK, I got an idea. There we go. Um. This game definitely does feel a lot more cinematic than uh, most, um, like, Final Fantasies, though. Um, I don't know the ending, but I do, I did see that there was a, what's it called? There was a YouTube video of all the Final Fantasy cutscenes put all together. And that's all the cinematic cutscenes. And that equaled up to 20 hours. But 20 hours out of a like 65 to 80 hour game. Eh. It works. But then that's not include. Yeah, 20 hours does equal 10 movies. But at least like there's good consistent pacing and at the same time it's like that's not including everything else that gets added up into time for like basically just banter between like in the world like with the characters like the quest and such. Yeah. This might take a oh. while. Not interesting. You. But yes, 20 hours does equal 10 movies, but we're not watching 10 movies within one playthrough either. Uh, within one playthrough, though, I will say it did feel like I watched one movie, like, at the very beginning. At the very beginning, at the prologue. Kicked out already? No. This charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say-so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. I no, I don't. You go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. You ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. All right. Just don't go starting anything. <laughs> nice to seeming dude and Tao gets told off. Yeah. 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 I promise I won't throw the first punch. That good enough for you. Go on then. Much obliged. 
Oh, Pyrnix, you were the one streaming Pizza Tower at some point, right? If I remember correctly. I think that's the first time I heard about that game, too. So this is Dravaged. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hmm. and Anvil. I thought you did. Was it Dirge, maybe? I know Noob didn't. Clive. You're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. It'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. Alright. Uh, I actually started playing Pizza Tower... Like, I actually started streaming that, like, three days ago. I did... I have two sessions so far. Finished off two areas. Game is hella charming. A lot of personality. Hotter, damn it! Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. <sighs> yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Hmm, Didn't we really? apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless! We're never going to be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here, and neither are you. All right, I'm going. Hmm. Okay, nice, nice. It's a pretty good game, and I I say that having not particularly enjoyed the first session or two. Really, that's actually kind of surprising, Phoenix, because like um, for my first session of Pizza Tower, all in all, like it left me with the like a great impression overall. Um, mainly because like the animation quality of that game is way too insane the music the um the presentation like it's obviously entirely unhinged and crazed but it's done in such a quality manner that's so weird but and like i do get that not every game is for everybody and like yeah no but um from what I've played so far, I really like the game. I really like the way it feels and such. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, it does take a while. Like, that type of style takes a while to grow on people. But it's like looking behind not just the presentation or like how weird it is, but like how it's presented. Because it's done so, it's done so well. It's very like surprising. You are. Not gonna lie, I am shocked at how are. much I actually enjoyed the game immediately. It just hooked me in. Like the beginning intro, um, yeah, beginning intro was such a good song. Um, yeah, and, and like I said before, all the animation quality behind it too. Let me guess. 
Zoltan told you to piss off. Of course he did. As a personal favor to him, yes. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. What Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. Our child does match the gameplay, you. yeah. It really does. Left. Really does. Sultan, the burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft. We will labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit and divvy it out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't each other's throats. Quality versus bit quantity. Bit, hmm. People started taking sides. We would have torn Dravos in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravos prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out, anyway. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this... Be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravosht will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Mm. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by art. I'll be needing some help, though. Building Have a go on here next. Exactly Thank you for stopping job. by. Enjoy your time, dude. And, round up anyone strong and we'll to enjoy the cinema, yeah. Uh, all right, then. And I've got a job for you too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. I need leather for the bellows and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us, salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time for a spot of hunting, then. Oh man, bro, let's go. Blood Fang. Be safe. What happened here? Let's make this quick, shall we? Oh.
Let's go. I have a lot of ability points I'm not using at the moment. I dare say that will be enough for a decent set of bellows. D ball. Wonder what that is. What's this all about then? Don't know. Some kind of new. Any trouble finding the skin? Nothing I couldn't handle. <laughs> there should be plenty. Right then. Time to put these louts to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. Well, I'll be damned. I honestly didn't think it'd work. But it's hot enough, all right, and without a single crystal in sight. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah. Dravoshd is saved. Sorry about it, Ian. I, uh, I take back everything I said. That thing you built us is an honest to God's marvel. You saved our village. Yeah, we did. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? What is it? Head cold cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer, which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the Anvil will ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius. Plain and simple. The man Dravosht needed. But... He took all his talent and left. Gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first. And that's not gonna happen. Hmm. Well, you know what they say? Or if land weren't built in a day and all that. These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I'd call that a job well done. <laughs> so would I. I reckon he's going to be at it a while yet, though, so why don't you head off without us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. <sighs> These things are going to take some getting used to. Bloody hell. I'll bet the blacksmiths will be queuing up so to buy you a drink now. Reckon you might have saved this town and everyone in it. Yeah, we did. Yeah, that's not Blackthorn, is it? I thought I'd see his face in Drafoshed again. Yeah, Blackthorn is actually still right here. Wow. Was not expecting that for some reason. Set of these bellows for our hmm. and town the blacksmith, eh? Life has been breathed back into the smithies of Dravos. Now that is worth celebrating. All right, just don't celebrate too hard, eh?
It burns the sun. They're here really quick. The forges are back in action and burning like the flames of hell itself. Miners only. Can't have you tripping head first into a pile and bringing the old place down. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if there's some places that are blocked off as of current that we can possibly enter later on in like post game. Let's go to Lost Wing real quick. Uh, yeah, this is like the closest. All right, Jill, we'll get to you probably in another day or so. Can you learn how to run in town? Please? I know you can't call a chocobo, but you can absolutely run, my dude. <laughs> Not here. Ambrosia won't help me here. Ambrosia. Vamos. to fight. Rodrigue could have mentioned his spiders would be the size of curls. finish the DLC so I, you're happy very nice very nice how long was that DLC about two to three hours not gonna lie dude that deal that game looks super satisfying <sighs> hopefully one will be enough it was pretty short the base game is a lot longer like 10 hours really okay so if the base game's 10, oh, wow, that must mean there's a ton of puzzles inside of there. Is a the base game, is a DLC like, um, 
Is the DLC just like a short excerpt? Ain't. Okay, I'm trying to phrase my question. Is the DLC very similar to the base game, but the DLC is just super short? Just depends on how big your brain is. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I see. Thank goodness you're back. Taya looks like One day I will collapse. recommend a somewhat like a puzzle esque game for you to play that it can be super simplistic, but players can overcomplicate it. It's a game a uh, buddy of mine that pops into stream every so often recommended me. So I kind of want to recommend it to others and see how well they do, of course. Uh, base game is like five chapters. The DLC is probably the equivalent of one chapter of the base game. Okay, so it's like two and a half hours per chapter. Fair enough. That don't sound bad. Yes, it is. Hold on, let's see. I got I'm interested in wanting to get it myself. I'm loath. Which I might. I'm patient Alicia, but Ty is right. Sometimes it's all we can do. Mm -hmm. Single dose dulls even the most agonizing pain and all other sensation with it. It may be a gentle way to die. I, but uh... It is death nonetheless. I wish there was another way. Yeah, about one to three hours per chapter, I think. One hour if you are just going for completion. Closer to three hours if you try to 100% each puzzle. 100% seems is fun, though. Not gonna lie. Drifting on waves. Could just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you, Daya. This is a little tough for how realistic <sighs> this is. So proud of you. Hmm. It's kind of close. Hmm. He's gone. <laughs> You're fine, Thank Pocket. You. <laughs> And you, Clive? Uh, so you very satisfying to 100% each puzzle. No, definitely. It seems it. <laughs> seems like a serious moment. I'm like, I like puzzle. I do like puzzle too. Was my mentor, back in the Southern Isles, on the front lines of some meaningless war. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents to treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands. I was next to useless until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And the kindness Sid would have approved of. Mm. You know as well as I what life is like for a bearer soldier. Marched from one battle to the next, never knowing which might be your last. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service, but my mentor's gift gave the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I promise. I hope so. Damn. Yeah. No, that moment was definitely one of the more intense ones. Especially for a character that's been here from the beginning and kind of, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to hunt. That's going to be my puzzle right now. Uh, Sickle Dalmechia. Dalmechia South. Of course. 
Okay, there we go. The sickle right here. Battery? Huh. Odd. Maybe it's in the middle. Let's go, Chocobo. Fly Ambrosia. Phantom Pocket, I hope you enjoyed your stream. I hope you enjoyed the DLC for what you were playing out of it. It did seem like a lot of fun. I do like the ones that had like the multiple solutions to them. Like that that actually seemed really cool and interesting. I can see that. I already put on my wish list. To be fair, I have a ton of things on my wish list. It's never, it's a never ending growth. It will always grow more and more because there's too many interesting games out there. Am I at the sickle? Now I am. Is it on sale? I didn't notice because I already own the game. Yes, it is. It's like 20% off, if not like maybe 30% off currently. Enough of you. Are there? I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, no, it's not bad at all. This oh, be easy. I guess. Yeah, no, there was a game I caught, uh, what's it called? There's a game that I bought called Raven's Watch. Like, I describe it like, you can consider it like a little bit of League of Legends meets like Hades S combat. Um, but it's a top-down action game. I paid probably like 18 bucks for it, played 15 hours of it. There's more content that will be releasing later on in the future. But like, I got 15 hours off of like one map, which felt nice. So there's things that I do, like I get that feeling of getting your money's worth for certain games. Doesn't matter how short a game can be, how long a game can be, as long as you had fun with it, that's all that really mattered. You got the content worth. Some developers can just do it like that. Like, uh, this game is about, the one I'm playing right now is about 65 hours for, like, base content. So 70, like, 80 hours if you do, like, an overall of everything. And I'm like, I wish this game was a little bit shorter. Because I got, like, to play the fun stuff I want to play, I have to get past the base content of, like, 65 to 80 hours. Lordy. Um, I went blind and it was legit delightful. I can definitely say that. And, dude, going in blind for games is, like, the most enjoyable feeling, too. Like, especially for puzzle games. I played a game called Super Liminal that was a, like, perception puzzle game. So, like, just that was one of the most fun ones that I played. Um, ooh. Focus a little bit. Okay. Barely. Okay. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see that. Oh, is there a possibility I could die here? Nice try.
Red Comet. Dude, okay. Now, if only they did more damage, make me fear them more. Comet Feather. <laughs> All righty then. There was nothing I could do. What do you mean? We didn't have to kill it. We chose to do that. Good puppy. Why did you get so big? Good Wolfie. Good Torgal. All right, um, go to the hideaway real quick. We got another hunt that we can do after we have another side quest to finish up real quick, which is Blackthorns. New missive. Huh. Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to outstay our welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Everyone except Zoltanes. Didn't see I nor air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. At Cole Cinder. Pick Cole Cinder. How'd you come by this? Will do. Thank you for the lurk much. Much appreciated. And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Uh, you know I can never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? And he spent sleepless night trying to copy me, did he? Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. It's good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. 
I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes, but I'm grateful all the same. I like how much yeah. development Blackthorn Where gets. Where was I? Oh, yeah. About to put Zoltan back in his place. Really nice. A lot of the characters here actually get a lot of development, including August. They are. Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. True. Ooh, Ouroboros Ourobor belt. Not that I need it yet. Yep. He's a forge. What's that for you, dear? I need a stone tongue, I see. And a son of Orboros. I need a stained loincloth. So it seems like I have everything near, I guess. And? Alright. When did I get elixirs? Huh. Oh, I did actually buy them at some point. Are you playing the song for me? Thank you, Lucan. I finish all the side quests? Uh, I do have, um, what's it called? One more. There we go. One more mark. So let me go figure out where this target is real quick. It's a secret B rank. Hunt board. The man in black. Lost wing. Sand. Wait. Lost wing. So there's somebody here to fight. Huh. Wonder if it's a human type enemy. can't lead me to him. I have to find him myself. Gotcha, boy. Gotcha, gotcha. Dude is here. I just gotta find him. But where would he be here?
Kinda curious if he would be at the hangman. Wasn't there a dungeon around? I'm a little confused, huh? Maybe I should actually read what it said rather than just go straight there and assuming where um, that fight is. The greater part of those black shields who spied on Lost Wing were taken by the Aether Flood. However, we have received reports that one yet survives, a zealot of their evil cause who persists in delivering any bear who strays too close to his hiding place to a gruesome death. Alas, he has heretofore proved more than a match for the curse breakers sent to slay him. So he's in Lost Wing. But the question is, where in Lost Wing? in the cellars. I think I remember fighting a dude like this, like, uh, middle of the game. Holy Trumpet Tour. Bidding. 
Let's go. Easy clap. Ba 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 da bam. Ba 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 da bam. Ba 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 da bam. Your work here is ba, done. Ba. What's this? Oh. Okay. Valuable. All right, I think I've done all hunts now. The iron works. Yeah, I've done all hunts. That's all good now. Dun, 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 dun. Red Meteor Chocobo battle was actually pretty damn cool, not gonna lie. Uh, Dread Meteor, I mean, sorry, Dread. I was right, Clive. My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The Ainayar is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! I really like Mid as a character. Seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Clive. Definitely one of the most what fun do you characters. Know of Barnabas Tharn? Only what the bards sing. That he sailed to Ash from southern lands. That it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this cove was meant to be hidden! Do you have to fight something? Mid! Uh oh. Company! Hey? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready. Alright, time to fight! with me give me something like double black shield dragoons with something else oh kashik dragoons yes i'd love to see how they fight here they come All right, it's five of us against 30 of them. Behind me, Lord Rossfield. I'll take care of these fuckers. Behind you? I'll have you know earth breaking here. The one struck fear into the heart of every man in the twins. I'm a dodge. I'm a dodge. No, I did dodge. There we go. I thought you 
said that ship was fast! Not allowed to die, any of you. That was easy enough. All right, you lousy lot. Get your asses on board. She's ready to sail. You heard the captain. <laughs> Byron, you're not allowed to die. Neither are you, Gav. Alive. What? Confounded. Then it is as I feared. Sleipnir is no man, but a creation of Odin. Ah, uh, okay. So he slightly called it. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Phoenix's fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? No. An army of Sleipnir. Round. Of course we are. Right, Lord Rosfield? My oh boy, there was a time people called me the Executioner. Who was my eyes? No matter, heads will roll all the same. I love Bet. Byron. You plan! You leave! We follow! Follow? Swimming, are you? Oh, follow me! Lay anchor! Engine's dead slow ahead! Have care, my friends. There's not blood that runs through an agent's veins. These foes will not fall easily. Joshua? What the hell? Woodman's axe. Good thing I brought one! As long as it takes. Unless you have a better one. Well, I've already killed at least five of the bastards. Fuck it. 
Byron. What do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. You are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. Hmm. Hmm. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. <laughs> You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, mm -hmm. I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, 
And I believe my old friend in Brandala can provide them. Uncle Byron's like the Take best care, character, Clive. damn it. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. <laughs> Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. <laughs> Just don't die, Byron. Just don't die. I need him alive. Cheerio. Cheerio. Do keep up, my boy. Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. Especially both of them being dominant. <laughs> Oh. Wow, he really is not doing well. We got mercy. Hmm. I done. Oh. This little girl what? has kind of been everywhere, it seems. It's kind of strange, huh? Well, can't go anywhere except the plot. Naldia Nero. There's a lot of sea between here and Walud, but any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north northeast and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it'd take him forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells. Uh oh. Sails on the horizon. Oh, okay. She's ours. Just having fun. <laughs> Let's see what this girl can do. Are they about to make us have a ship battle or something? No, right? Where one leads, so does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them condemning both to the same fate. Yet 
that my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. Oh? Oh, he just put on Odin's armor, but dude. Holy shit. There is naught my blade cannot sever. A lot going on for this scene, dude. That's a rescue Jill mission. Through the maelstrom. Strum. Oh, it's just a straight up fight, okay. Yeah. 
gotta go into the ship. Hello. I won't. Yet. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot, and I can't do that right now. But we're going to see what's here. Let us play Joshua. Oh? Alright, 
Show me Torval. I can. be curious if Rama is the dominant of lightning what is Odin darkness because Bahamut is light as far as I can tell Shiva is ice Titan is earth Garuda yeah Garuda is wind Ifrit and Phoenix are both fire What is Odin? Maybe darkness, maybe. Horrible. Hopefully everybody's fine and all right. Did he cut the sea? But to where? Of course he did.
There's no way I have a boss battle right now. Give me a you. dungeon first, please, I beg of thee. What did you do to Joshua? The Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. Of course, because he's the Phoenix. This he has Phoenix sound. in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept, Accept your, your place, place with the Lord. With the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no. Yes, Clive, no. Trust me, Jill. No. No, follow her, please. I don't want this. No. Don't have to do this. Oh, but we do. If only to remind you of your duty. Oh my god, he's so cool, dude. Fine, I'll take it. In a short time since our last meeting, <laughs> what's up, new? It is a vessel. I fear my lord will still. I wanted a good faith point. Yeah. 
You've been given. Oh no, is this a one-shot move? The of Ooh. Okay. You would yield so soon. Never. Oh no, I need the power of Shiva to be able to fight this, don't I? Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that. You would be nothing without what he has granted Don't worry about you. it, noob. The power we wield is his. And yet every time we draw Shh. upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos, you wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you, that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose, which is Ultimate Vessel. Feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self regard? As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord in his mercy has taken pity on his flawed creations shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God. No. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. 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 And abandon everything we hold dear. We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. Clive! Ah. The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. 
Until it leads you back to the You're not part of the organization. Oh wait, you do have the power of darkness if you Oh I see Dark Teleport. Okay. But back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not. Maybe. But I can try. That's why it's incomprehensible, possibly. Don't look back. Clive Best. <laughs> Okay. The Shadow Coast Western Ash. I hope the others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they will have seen the ice where it led. We need only wait till dawn. Struggles like I'm going to bed. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. Yes. I'm powerless against him. And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. Clive, I know, would never do that. So you believe? But do you really know me? If what Barnabas said was true, then... I'm more monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. He's so edgy. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for. Of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted. Only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? So used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? <laughs> You're still that same boy I grew up with. the one thing that needed saving most of all. You. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving, provided they want to be saved. <laughs> you fight to survive. This seems hilarious for some reason. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. Ah. If 
if this is what you want, then... Don't worry, Clive. It is. This burden... I'll give you the strength to bear it alone. But I'm not alone. I carry my sins, my pain, my sorrow. I see now that they are all a part of me. Oh yes, speak anime. <laughs> speak anime to me more, Clive. Be that edgy boy you've always meant to be. gentlemen that we might one day look upon the moon again together and I promise you Clive that I will be there no matter what you must become thought a smile could bring me so much joy. He spoke anime to her. That's how it goes, right? I swear to God, Clive, if you try to test out your powers of Shiva right now, I'm going to be pissed. They can cuddle now. Yeah, Torgal. Good job. I want to go to sleep too, though. <laughs> Let me what save. Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. 
The Ein Herja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on Storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Mom, um, Dad, are you two finished? Can we go now? Those are Torgal's thoughts. The promise. You know the worst part? Is that in this specific menu right now, you cannot save. So please. Please. Mead says yep. Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. Mm -hmm. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. Yep. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows ah, because he probably could have died by being here, actually. Him there when we're ready to sell for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? Yes, we are. We've done our best to shore up the hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. Across the Narrow. The power of ice, we now have the power of Shiva. We are going to test that out immediately the next time we start upstream. Uh, oh. Yo, I could finally take Phoenix off. Okay. Visit Joshua. Assuming Tony will allow Next it. time, Clive. Next time. Hold on. God bless, I can save. Alrighty. Dream lasts a lot longer than I expected to, but you know, that's what happens when you get into huge cutscenes, right? Right. Thank you all for joining. I appreciate you guys being here, and I will probably be back tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if I continue this, and we'll see if we continue something else. But yeah, I should be back tomorrow. All right, thank you all for joining again. I appreciate you guys being here, and I will catch you next time. Peace out, dudes, and bye.